Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who look for shields, dust, lace, horse, passes, passes, minions, mean sex. I'm a useful idiot. Let's go to Greece today. Uh, welcome. Uh, and uh, the events in Greece, of course, have been extremely dramatic and uh, really uh, fascinating to watch. So now we have Syriza come to power, a coalition of less leftist uh, groups, and uh, very telling uh, to see the appointments right off the bat. Very interesting uh, cast of characters, including uh, the new. Uh, Premier Alexis Cypress. Uh, I'm probably going to butcher these names, but uh, um, anyway, um, he he uh, made a, a drama right off the bat by a, an amazing letter uh, to Germany, uh, spelling out exactly, uh, trying to alleviate fears and spell out exactly uh, what Greece was interested in. And to see this level of intelligence and thought brought to the political process is pretty refreshing, particularly in Greece, and uh, not the least of which is uh, the new finance minister, uh, Mr. Yanafakis. And once again, I'm probably butchering the name. Um, and I'll attach some videos of his, uh, because he's been a, a prom prominent uh, commentator uh, on numerous occasions uh, on various uh, economic shows uh, for the last several years uh, discussing events in Greece. Uh, and he's a very sober uh, very articulate, very uh, extremely intelligent man, uh, and, and some of his presentations uh, about uh, some of his economic ideas are are very enlightened, but uh, certainly from the, the leftist point of view. And uh, he, 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 the finance minister also came out and said that there will be no negotiations with the, the troika, the combination of the uh, IMF, the ECB, and the European Commission. Uh, the European Central Bank and the International Money uh, Fund. And, um, uh, of course, in the end, uh, he will negotiate with whoever uh, he has to. And uh, we're already seeing the, the fact that uh, a lot of promises were made about some new stimulus programs uh, for the economy and uh, getting some uh, debt cancellation. And uh, already we're seeing uh, negotiations uh, come to somewhat of a stalemate, and um, I think in the end we'll see um, the even the new government of Greece having to play ball to a certain uh, point. But uh, they certainly making are making some big promises. Uh, talking about uh, renegotiating the loans, having a large relief spending program, um, and uh, tackling the oligarchs. And that would that would be great if they really could tackle the oligarchs. It'd be great to see people all over the world. And, uh, tackle oligarchs. Um, and, and I'm sure that will be an extremely difficult, if not impossible, task as well. And uh, I don't know if there's been any discussion of cutting military spending, but there should be, because uh, uh, compared to the size of their economy, uh, Greece spends a, an extraordinary amount on the military, and a lot of it is to uh, to uh, keep up with the, the regulations. Uh, uh, being a NATO partner, and um, and then we also have all these uh, these uh, uh, talk about uh, not wanting to further uh, sanctions uh, with Russia, and that certainly that makes a lot of sense as well. So once again, we have only one European country that seems to be uh, sober and uh, intelligent about this, and not wanting to shoot themselves in the foot uh, by furthering sanctions with Russia, and in fact. Uh, Interestingly enough, on uh, January 29th, the Russian finance minister even offered financial aid to Greece. And I, I don't necessarily think there's going to be any uh, new huge bonding between uh, Russia and Greece, but I don't want to rule that out. Um, uh, but I'm sure in Greece's position right now, they're, we, they're going to have to play uh, uh, both sides fairly carefully if they uh, continue to, uh, to uh, cozy up uh, with Russia. And, uh, and then we have all the, uh, the banking uh, chaos that's going on right now in Greece that the new government's going to have to deal with, which will complicate things. And, and in fact, there's been uh, massive bank runs and removings of uh, deposits. And uh, there, uh, there was even uh, emergency loans uh, set up to Greek banks. Um, so there will probably be an upcoming uh, banking crisis in uh, Greece as well, uh, another one. And uh, so that will complicate uh, negotiations for cancellation of debt as there still 
continue and you get uh, bank bailouts. So let's remember that most of the money that uh, got given to Greece uh, was get basically given right back to the banks, which went right back to other banks in uh, the ECB anyway. And um, it was interesting. I tried to track uh, who exactly has exposure uh, to Greek bonds and Greek debt right now. And um, a uh, hat tip to John Barleycorn, who supplied a story about how um, Hillary uh, or Chelsea Clinton's uh, husband has a hedge fund. And they took a huge hit uh, betting on the, the, the Greek economy, which I find rather amusing. So we know that certainly they have exposure uh, to uh, Greece and uh, are hurting right now. But uh, what, what the one article, and I'll attach it below, what I've seen is that there was a pattern of unloading Greek debt uh, for quite some time uh, um, after the initial collapse. Um, but recently, uh, a lot of uh, countries uh, have been uh, diving back in, most notably Germany. But uh, we, we don't know in total how much, uh, what the bank positions are, uh, what kind of derivatives are involved uh, in, in uh, Greek debt right now, uh, what the hedge funds uh, investments are in Greece, and uh, certainly the ECB uh, has massive exposure to Greek debt, so they have a lot of interest in this. But uh, uh, Greece is definitely serious about uh, uh, negotiating. They've hired uh, the Lazard Investment Bank. Um, incidentally, the Ukraine recently hired the same uh, bank uh, for possible uh, debt restructuring in the future. But uh, Greece says it will honor its loan obligations, but um, they did hire a, a, an expert in debt and fiscal management, so the, there will be some wheeling and dealing. So uh, let's remember where Greece is at uh, after this uh, um, debacle, uh, this uh, deep depression that Greece has been put in and have been the uh, kind of the laboratory to study the effects of uh, very harsh austerity. Uh, GDP in five years, GDP has fallen 25 percent. Unemployment is roughly 25 to 30 percent, and youth unemployment is 50 to 60 percent. Um, and uh, to show you that uh, uh, treating a debt problem with more debt doesn't work, uh, the debt GDP ratio of Greece in 2008 was 108 percent, and in 2015 it's now 170 um, percent. So we're on the road. Uh, to double their debt to GDP ratio while their uh, GDPs have uh, fallen 25 percent. And um, so anyway, uh, if they don't renegotiate these loans, they're in a hole uh, that they'll never get out of. And uh, like I say, the, the, the loans all go to the banks. And the country, uh, Greece, also got looted in the fire sale and all these public assets. Uh, so uh, the, the rape and looting of Greece uh, uh, Hopefully, we'll come to a halt with this uh, new government. Um, and, and also, uh, Greece is reclaiming its sovereignty. Uh, for, for a number of years now, uh, let's remember that a puppet was put in charge of Greece, um, and the country is run by technocrats, foreign technocrats. Uh, so now we have Greece uh, back in the hands of Greece, and uh, that promises some uh, dramatic events, uh, one would hope. And um, this is a, another example of... Uh, the elites not want a recovery for you because they're going to make money off this situation either way. And the more Greece suffers, uh, the more uh, the elites uh, get rich. And uh, so anyway, we have this government in place in Greece now, a uh, very uh, impressive uh, government it is for the time being. And uh, it will be really interesting to watch. And certainly all of Europe's watching, uh, particularly because it, it could set examples for other countries, including uh, Spain right now, where uh, the leftists are uh, are uh, dominating right now, and could do quite well if not win the upcoming elections, and, and they have a lot of uh, similar problems, and uh, so we could see this dramatic swing, and, and then we're going to be seeing a lot of precedent set uh, for bailing out countries and renegotiating bailouts, and uh, so this will be the model for that. So it'll be interesting to watch for that reason as well. And uh, although there's a part of me that's uh, very hopeful um, and, and hope the best uh, for this, this new government in Greece, unfortunately, it seems like already um, they're giving in to the demands of the, the Eurozone. And um, uh, it's too early to, to, to say for sure, but it seems like uh, 
they're having to give in and, and ultimately uh, it's uh, because I'm a cynical I suppose I suspect that in, in the end uh, this government's going to have to learn to play ball and uh, otherwise there's there, there's just going to be another turn of events things change quickly I'm useful idiot don't you be one too <laughs>